By now you might be familiar with how Bardeen works and you probably have seen some playbooks. You click on the playbook card and something happens. A LinkedIn profile gets scraped and information gets added to a Google Sheet, but there is one more type of automations that you might have been missing out on and it's called Autobox. Autobox are automations with a trigger. They run automatically. There are two types of triggers, time triggered automations and app triggered automations. In this video, you're going to learn about the most common autobook triggers and we're going to build some great automations right here in this video. It's going to be a longer form video where you can see the overview and the capabilities of what Bardeen can do. We're going to launch Bardeen with a shortcut option B and we're going to click on create new autobook. This is where we're going to be building our autobook. So at the top of the page, you see triggers. You have schedule and when something happens. Let's click on the scheduled trigger. So we can make this automation run, uh, for example, every 6 a.m. in the morning and you can make it repeat, say daily, and it will never stop. So this is one type of time-based automations, but also we can try something slightly different. I'm going to delete this action and let's click on when something happens. And there's another time-based automation. It's called when time has passed a certain duration. Let's try this one out. And then we're going to trigger the automation every so often. In my case, I want to run an automation every 20 seconds. Okay, just like this. And every 20 seconds, I want an action to be performed. I want uh, an email to be sent. So let's go ahead and do exactly this. I'm going to integrate Gmail. Okay, there we have Gmail and we're going to send an email. So send email to recipient. Here I have my demo account. The email body is going to be reminder and the body is going to be just checking in. Have things been done? So if you know some of those people that need additional encouragement every so often to check in on the project, you can automate that action as well. That's going to be our email. Let's click on done. So this specific automation consists of one trigger that will send an email every 20 seconds. And then we have the email itself. I'm going to click on done and let's name it email every 20 seconds. Just like this, we're going to click on save. And here we have the automation that was created. Very important, we need to enable it in order for it to run. So every 20 seconds, we're going to send out an email. Let's click on refresh. And here we have this beautiful email. Another thing that you might want to know is how do you know when something was triggered? When creating Autobox, something that runs in the background, you might want to check on the progress. If something has actually happened and you want to see the history of the runs. Let's open Bardeen with the option B shortcut. And here next to the Autobox, you have show activity. Just like this, here we have two emails that were sent. You can click on view to see them. There is another place where you can find the history of Autobook events and it is here. So here we have history. This is the Autobook icon and you can click on it and see the history right there. So in this case, we had a few emails sent through. There's another one. And to disable your automation, you can hit option B one more time and just toggle this automation off and no more emails are going to be sent. And here's the best part. You do not need to build automations from scratch. And that's because we have a catalog of over 300 plus pre-built automations. Uh, make sure to check it out on our website. Link in the description below. You can also search for automations right here in the search bar. And one of my absolute favorite auto books is the one that launches my next calendar event automatically. So I cannot possibly get carried away and miss a meeting that's on my calendar. Let's go ahead and find that one. So join next event a minute before it starts. That's the name of the automation. It just got enabled, so there it is. And let's go ahead and test this automation out. Here we have our Google Calendar. I'm going to go ahead and create a meeting. That's going to happen in two minutes. Then we're going to call it demo meeting. We're going to invite another demo account and we're going to make it a conference. So looks like Google has added a conference call automatically. Let's click on save. 
kick back, relax, get carried away with our work, and wait until the magic happens. And just like this, a new tab was open, and I can just join this meeting with one click. Hi. Let's see a trigger that launched this automation, option B shortcut. And if you're grabbing an auto book from the catalog, you can just open the auto book in the builder to investigate what's actually happening. So this specific automation finds the next meeting when it starts in a minute, or you can customize it as well. You can say in two minutes, in five minutes, you name it. Then it's going to open the meeting link from our calendar. That's this specific automation. Let's go ahead and explore what other triggers that we have access to. So let's click on when something happens. And then you can also pick one of your favorite apps. For example, let's pick Gmail. And here we have all of the Gmail based triggers. When label is added to an email, I think this one is really, really cool. Why not build an automation around it? Or we can do when email gets started. That one is even better. All right, so I want to build an automation so that when an email gets started, then the body of this email gets sent as a message in Slack. So let's add another action. Let's find Slack over here. And then we're going to send a Slack message over here. We're going to, for the message, we're going to grab the body of that email. So the body of the email, and we're going to send it in our general channel. Click on done, click on done again, and it says tag to Slack. It's going to be the name of our auto book. Let's hit on save. Let's enable this automation by toggling it on and let's go to Gmail. Okay, there we have it. Here we have three emails. So here's an email and next to the email, we have this star icon. So we'll just start this specific email. We can go to Slack, let's go to general channel. And here we have our message, just checking in. How have things been? This is exactly the message from this email. Pretty neat, right? There are a few more cool triggers that I want to show you. They have to do with tracking. Say you are a massive fan of Elon Musk and you want to receive a text message when he tweets something. Or you might want to send all of the Twitter mentions from a list of influencers that you want to work with to Slack automatically so that you can take action. You don't need to monitor hundreds of profiles. Instead, you can use an auto book for this. And now I'm going to build this exact automation. So option B shortcut, let's create a new auto book when something happens and then pick Twitter. Now we have filter down Twitter actions. So when the user tweets and then the username, we can close Bardeen at any point without losing progress. So I'm going to copy this handle over here, option B shortcut to open it back up. We have Bardeen Demo, that's the account. So when this account tweets, we want to send a new Slack message to a channel. The message is going to be the tweet itself. We can just get all fields. We're going to send it in this case to the marketing channel because we want to work with this specific person. Let's click on done and let's save this automation. We're going to get tweets from somebody. Okay, so this is our automation. You can obviously list as many people as you want in our trigger part. Let's enable this automation and we're going to trigger this automation to test it in action. So here we have this Twitter account and I'm going to make a tweet. Uh, Auto books are awesome try them out. This is our tweet. Let's schedule it just like this. So the tweet has gone out. Now we need to go back to our Slack and open the marketing channel. All right. And there is our message from Demo Burdine account. And here is the body of the tweet. It's important to note that some apps are going to give you output faster than the others. In some cases, as you saw, it takes 20 seconds for you to see the automation trigger. And for the others, it might take a few minutes, depending on the app. As promised, I'm going to be showing you some really sophisticated triggers. And this next one is probably going to blow your mind. It's going to track changes on a specified website. That's our trigger. Let's build an automation.
As an example, here we have a landing page, say you're a competitor and you want to know when something changes, for example, when this uh, headline uh, changes of the website. So what you can do is you can run the when website changes automation. So because I cannot change this specific page, I'm going to show you a page that I actually have control over. So let's go ahead here and uh, here under the auto box section, we have one of the automations that we've built just earlier. For example, uh, let's do this uh, tag to Slack automation and let's share it. Let's go ahead and create a share link with Vardin. If you've never done it before, it's super simple. Again, you just click on that airplane icon over here to share this playbook. And then here you have your URL. Uh, and you can put in additional information about how to run this out of book, or you can even record a video just like this one and put it in the description to help your team and your colleagues. All right, so I'm going to copy uh, this page over here and I'm going to paste it as a new tab. What's going to happen is we're going to pull automatically uh, this name of the playbook. So when this name of the playbook changes, we want something to happen. And this is exactly what this automation is going to be about. So let's create a new automation when something happens, when website changes, data changes. So when website data changes, this is our trigger that uses the scraper. Scraper just extracts information from uh, different websites. So we're going to be running this automation and then it's asks what scraper template to pick. So a scraper template informs Bardeen which fields you want to extract. In this case, which fields that you want to track so that when they change, you get a notification of some sorts. So because we've never built an automation for this specific page, let's go ahead and create a new scraper template on URL and we're going to be using it on this current URL and it's going to be a single page scraper. There's a full dedicated tutorial about how to use scraper. Make sure to check it in the description of this video because it's so powerful. So shared playbook, this is the name of our scraper template. And then we're going to be tracking only the title. Let's do this. Let's go with title. So we're tracking the title. Okay, and our scraper template is created. Let's save this template. So we're tracking one field. That's the title of that page. And then we're going to be using a URL to track it. So let's paste that link. This is the link that uh, the currently open tab. So Bardeen is going to visit this specific page every so often and it's going to check, hey, has the name changed? And that's our trigger. Seems quite sophisticated, right? So when that website changes, we might want to do something. In my case, I might be running around uh, somewhere in the city and I want to get a text message. So let's add the new action. It's going to be the SMS notification. So send an SMS notification. And the text message is going to say something like, the website has been changed. This is our text message and let's paste that URL just in case. Click on done. And here is our website monitoring app that we've created in a couple of minutes. Pretty amazing, huh? Let's call it uh, monitor sharing page, just like this. And let's enable the automation. So the funny thing is that I'm not only teaching you about how to use Bardeen triggers, but also how to share playbooks. So make sure to share your favorite playbooks with your colleagues and with your friends. Now what we need to do is we need to update this name of the playbook that you share with somebody else. Uh, option B shortcut and then here is the card. So what we're going to do is we are going to rename this automation. Let's call it Gmail tag to Slack channel. This is a new updated name of the automation. So the name has been updated just like this. Let's refresh the page. All right, so the page has been updated. Let's wait for the trigger to do the magic. So here we can see activities and the invocations of this specific action. And let's wait until that text message arrives. All right, and there is our notification right there that the website has been changed. Pretty cool. This is it. In this video, we've covered Autobox. 
automations that are triggered either at a specific point of time or when something happens in your apps. Make sure to open the builder and explore all of the triggers that are available with your favoring apps. And remember, there are hundreds of pre-built autobooks that you can just start using right away from our catalog. Just go to bardeen.ai forward slash autobooks or click on the link in the description below. I'll see you in the next tutorial.